Hello everyone, I'm over at Valley Fair Mall by the Electrify America stations. And I'm gonna show you how to save some money charging your Tesla, especially during peak hours. So in the Bay Area, they have different pricing models for superchargers. So there's peak pricing and off-peak pricing. So during peak pricing, it ends up being 58 cents per kilowatt hour, and off-peak, it ends up being 29 cents per kilowatt hour. However, with Electrify America, they have different pricing models based on membership, and it's not uh, based on time of use or anything like that, like yeah, uh, like EVgo or maybe ChargePoint or any other kind of competitors. So for fast charging, you're gonna need a CCS Combo 1 adapter, as in the United States, uh, this is the dominant uh, charging standard besides the Tesla proprietary plug. In Europe, it's gonna be CCS2. However, the cars already come with that built in for most Teslas. And however, you can't get this in the United States yet, so I had to import this but it looks like this big honking adapter, this thing. So compared to the Tesla proprietary adapter, this thing is small, but CCS is really big. So on top of there, this is a J1772, and this is the DC fast pins. And we're gonna show you how to use this thing. So before we plug this in here, let's go over to the Electrify America station. There's pricing over here. So 43 cents per kilowatt hour. And of course with membership, it doesn't show anything, so you have to get the pricing through the application. So uh, um, the pricing again is just 43 cents and you have a, plus, uh, a pass, regular pass, which you don't have any session fees. And with the pass plus, which is about $4 a month at the time of this recording, it will be 31 cents per kilowatt hour. And uh, so it's basically you have to figure out um, how often do you charge in order to get that $4 or be able to recoup that cost of the $4 uh, pass. So it's, it's, it really depends on how often you charge, everything like that. Uh, and then of course you can pay on demand, which you will pay a session fee. And one thing about the Electrify Americas as well as the EVgo is that their system is really unreliable compared to Tesla. Tesla, you just plug in go, five seconds later, you just get back in your car. You wanna make sure uh, the, the plug works, you know, just plug in. Okay, so we are en route to a supercharger as I need to charge my car and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do that. It's basically about five to 10 seconds. Uh, you back up your car and you plug in and go. No need for payment method or any complexity like you would see with Electrify America or EVgo. We need the third party solutions out there. It just works. Okay, so I have arrived at the supercharging station. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is. Here we go, grab the plug. Press the button on here, open the charge port, insert. Next up, get back into your car, and then we go to the console and launch up Netflix. There you go. But this one, you gotta wait a long time, it's complicated. You gotta get the app to work, everything like that. And this payment thing is just for the pass uh, membership card, which is not Apple Pay, you just use your NFC thing and then you can activate it from there. But usually these things are broken, so the best way to activate the charging is through the application. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in first. So we gotta pull this thing out, this big honking thing. Get our adapter right here. Wait till it clicks in. Make sure your car is unlocked. Get the charging port open insert this in carefully. And one thing is this thing is pretty heavy. So if it's not mating with your car, what they actually recommend is make sure it's lifted up so it makes uh, better contact. That's kind of one of the faults with the Electrify America as other third party charging solutions. So let's go over here. Uh, it did finish connecting to the car. We can go to member right here. Otherwise, uh, yeah. So right here it tells us we're using connector one and I'm gonna just show you through the app right here. So we are over here at uh, Valley Fair. If it gives me my location, there we go. And then we're gonna find the charging ID. So the charging ID is number 14. You go over here and then select charging uh, stall number 14. And then you're going to pick uh, uh, swipe to charge. Um, otherwise you can just uh, try to activate from here. So tap your phone to use the pass. This one seems to be working. I've tried other stalls and they generally don't work sometimes. So swipe the charge. It's gonna process my payment and there we go. Initiating charging. 
and it's gonna keep going and keep going. All right, here we go. This is my name, JP. I have the Pass Plus right here, so 31 cents per kilowatt hour. And then we can see right over here, we click continue. It's kind of weird, it looks like it's exiting out, but it's not. And we see our my state of charge is 42%. It's a little high, I would say uh, charge at a lower, but this is just mainly demonstration for the video. This is the, my charging speed right here. Uh, of course, I'm at the 350, uh, 150 kilowatt charging stall, but it goes up to 350. But my car can't handle that. It goes up to maybe 270 on a good day. Uh, I guess it's a lower state of charge, but uh, regardless, it's gonna be pretty fast. But the most important is I'm getting a really good price during peak times. So I'll talk about peak pricing uh, shortly. But yeah, this is pretty, pretty straightforward on that. Make sure you get the adapter and you're good. And that's it for now. Alrighty, I should probably discuss more in depth about charging information and pricing. So in the Bay Area, I have quite a bit of options for fast charging. And for Tesla, you can use the superchargers, of course. Um, you can use Electrify America and EVgo. So Tesla used to provide uh, pricing information from the application and I think from the website, but now uh, they restrict that. So the only way to view pricing is through the vehicle. Maybe some third-party apps have API access that Tesla hasn't restricted to view pricing. But anyway, to view pricing, um, you go to the uh, map on your in your in your car, and then you just click on the supercharger of interest. So you see here, um, we use in the Bay Area we have peak and off peak pricing. So off peak pricing is 29 cents per kilowatt hour, and peak pricing is 58 cents per kilowatt hour, which is pretty good um, for off peak 29 cents. It's the cheapest out of um, compared to like Electrify America, which is 31 cents per kilowatt hour. But for EVgo, assuming there's availability and their stuff is working, it can be cheaper um, depending on their time of use. So it's really weird on how they do pricing, but I'm gonna go over that shortly. So here you wanna check the hours. They did change them recently for I don't know what reason, but before it used to be 9 p.m. all the way to uh, 11 a.m. in the morning time. And, but now they kind of just split it up. So anyway, just check whenever you're going to a supercharger, if you're trying to optimize uh, your charging um, dollars, you could say, um, just check their rates. Not all places use peak and off peak uh, pricing. So let's say we're gonna go down to Southern California. Let's go over to like Kettleman City area or you know Harris Ranch, where we can go down over here. So let's go to Kettleman City first. We can see that they use a flat rate of 45 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, they probably just keep it that way to get sort of competitive, but also they know that you got to charge if you're going to do a commute. So they'll just uh, kind of get you on the pricing for there. Um, Harris Ranch is a little bit more expensive, 47 cents per kilowatt hour. Of course, charging is still going to be cheaper than gas um, just to go, uh, go the same distance. Um, so yeah, those are the rates for supercharging. They will vary um, depending on what region of the country you are or just location. And of course, in a place that has cheaper electricity, such as let's say the Midwest, I think it's like 15 or maybe 16 cents per kilowatt hour. In the Bay Area, uh, home charging is still going to be cheaper than supercharging. I think it's around like 23 or 25 cents per kilowatt hour. So mainly uh, supercharging and f or just fast charging in general should be used if you don't have um, charging. Um, I've optimized my experience for peak times to be 31 cents uh, per kilowatt hour and then off peak 29 cents. And it's just, it gives me more flexibility to use the third party charging Electrify America as it is more reliable compared to EVgo. And EVgo just doesn't have that much charging options when it comes to fast charging. So fast charging should be anything more than 70 kilowatts. Um, I would say 150 and above is considered fast charging for me. So let's go over to the Electrify America app and you can see the rates for uh, fast charging. Uh, so the closest one by me is over here off of Zanker and you can see the rates of what they are if you just scroll down right here. This is with the pass, but without the pass, it's still going to be 43 cents per kilowatt hour at the time of this recording. However, you will pay a session fee of $1. Um, if you have the Pass Plus, you're going to get 31 cents per kilowatt um, hour. And uh, let's go to the plans and you can see what I'm paying right here. 
So 31 cents per kilowatt hour. And then of course, if you in a state or a weird location where they charge per minute, they don't do that in California. This is really dumb by the way, charging per minute. Um, you're gonna end up paying those uh, ridiculous rates. So you wanna be billed per kilowatt hour. It's just better overall. Um, so uh, this is $4 a month. So you wanna balance between how often do you charge so you get the most uh, use out of um, your if, out of your membership. So if you plan to charge at least um, several times a month, this pass is definitely worth it. Um, so on, in retrospect, the most I've ever paid for charging was uh, $22. Uh, if you're using on peak times, you're gonna be paying double uh, that. So I think the most would could be up to $45 to charge. Um, otherwise, most Tesla users are not gonna charge, uh, pay too much for charging. But this is really how you maximize uh, your savings. So use Electrify America Pass. But let's go over to EVgo and you'll see what their pricing looks like. So of course, I filtered this out by fast charging. So there's one close to the airport, the seven stalls, and the way you view pricing, you just go to the stall that, that you're interested in. So let's click pricing. And you can see um, time of use schedule. So this one is early bird, which is uh, 10 a.m. to 8 a.m. is 39 cents per kilowatt hour. And that's still more expensive compared to Electrify America if you have the pass and there is um, that and 31 cents is any time of the day. So it gives you really good flexibility to use Electrify America. Of course, they have off peak, which is really should be called peak times, um, just given these, these kind of hours in a way you could say. Um, it ends up being eye watering 51 cents per kilowatt and then even more up to 59 cents. And what's weird is the pricing varies per location. It's time of use. So if you go to here, you can see they have they do have a membership uh, for EVgo. Um, the membership is pretty pricey. So pay as you go. There is no membership. Um, you can do right here for EVgo. It's kind of weird, like the early bird pricing. It just ranges. So you don't really know in terms of what pricing you're getting. It's based on the charger stall, the stall you're at. It can change anytime it wants. And then of course, right over here. So it's really confusing in terms of how they're pricing model. So I do like uh, Tesla's and um, Electrify America's pricing model. It's, it's just much easier to understand. Alrighty, we've been here long enough. Our state of charge is 71%. Here's our charging cost, $6.82. We put this much energy, 23 kilowatt hours, and uh, charging for 16 minutes. So I'm gonna go do some other stuff since I don't wanna wait here too much longer. The best way to stop charging is hit the screen or in your car. Do not press the button here as there have been some issues I've heard about the charging port catching fire, especially my friend's e-tron GT caught on fire with um, an issue with the latching mechanism. So stop it from your car or from the station. So here we go. There we go. And unplug. And of course, this is a big heavy adapter. So press the button, use two hands, hold. Pull that and this will automatically close. As any good citizen, please put your charging cord back into the holder. And we're gonna put our adapter back like this in our awesome sexy case. And that is pretty much it. This is how you save money charging your Tesla using Electrify America with the Pass Plus. 31 cents per kilowatt hour, any time of the day, of course, at the time of this video recording. So of course, please check pricing and anything can happen. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. And as always, have a nice day.